we're here at Teofilo today, um, collaborating with them. They're letting us use their space for our first ever uh, pop-up gallery event. Um, so we're a small, independent brand and pop-up gallery. We're looking to um, bring local artists, giving them a chance to break through into the art world, um, making it more accessible for anyone really to be able to show their work and um, sell their work and just give them a platform in general. It's, it's like a step ladder, I think, in my case. It just came from uh, street art, and then street art became more of like a brand. Um, and the branding took me into like silk screening, and silk screening took me into graphic design. So graphic design is my medium right now, and like digital work is what I've been focusing on. So I think that's pretty much the um, evolution of my interest, you know, from skating, seeing graffiti art out on the streets and then wanting to put that on a t-shirt. You need a computer to do it, so I learned how to use computers to make art and that's very much how it went down. When I was, a, when I was in high school, uh, I had to do a, like a senior exit portfolio and we had to try something new. One of the things I wanted to try was photography and I ended up doing that. It didn't really stick with me at the time. And then uh, uh, I was always skateboarding, so when I would go out and see my friends, uh, one of my cousins, he always had a camera with him. I would kind of like just look at him, see what he was doing, and then I uh, ended up getting a camera myself. Took a photo class. I liked it, but it wasn't really for me. And then I didn't really do much with, with it afterwards. And then maybe uh, fast forward like two years, two three years after that photo class, I uh, found my professor. Uh, I started taking classes with her. She's still my professor, she's still my mentor, and. Uh, yeah, I started taking classes with her, and that's when I realized, like, oh, I kind of like this, you know, like, I'm, I think I'm going to keep on going with this, I see what happens. It, it taught me a lot, doing the identity series, is, is learning about who they are, what they want, mm -hmm. not what I want, yeah. not at all, it's not what, it's never about you, you know, when you start doing self-portraits and portraits for people, you're asking them, thank you for, for being my inspiration, I wouldn't be here today to show these three. I have like 20 women I photographed in that series and I am very grateful for them because without them, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have all these young people looking at my work like, oh my God, what is that? You know what I mean? Like, or whatever, I, you know, whether it sucks or it's great or it's good, it doesn't matter to me because these people poured their hearts out for free, you know? and. And the, the experience is what you take out of it. With people, it's the experience. 